Hey, 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 it's Kelsey Ray coming at you live from Charleston. As y'all are hopping on, say hi in the comments. Let me know where you're coming at from. Um, and definitely, definitely, definitely tap that share button, comment the word share so I can put your name into the giveaway, but also so this reaches who it actually needs to reach. So, spitting my gum out. Um, I'm going to show you guys what I got from all of these and Whole Foods today. I spent about $200, and if you're new here, I typically go live with my grocery hauls because I am, we are a family of six, and we're just trying to eat as best as we possibly can. No dyes, no corn syrup, nothing that's overly processed, um, but being realistic in the same sense, okay? So if that's something that you're looking for and you feel like that's valuable to you, again, share it out, type in the comments word share. I'm gonna go through and show you some of these things. Some of them are not the best, but you know what? Like I said, we are very realistic with what we're consuming um, and making sure that we're consuming we're buying things that um, are still like appeasing to our kids, but still healthy enough for them to where they're not going crazy. And if you don't know this, uh, red dye, blue dye, yellow dye has been linked to many different behavioral issues. And so if, if you have kids, do me a favor and drop the word kids in the comments. How many of you guys on here are actually parents? Um, because I don't know if you knew that or not, but um, do your research on some things. I'm going to show you some really, uh, really awesome finds that you can get at pretty much some of the only... Places you can get these foods is like Whole Foods or Publix or somewhere that actually sells uh, healthy stuff. Uh, you will not be able to find some of this stuff at Walmart. So I don't know where you guys shop. I used to be a Walmart girly and that's just not how I am anymore because they just have really shitty food and produce. I hate Walmart. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Katie. Hi, Kimberly. Hello. Hi, Robert. Hi, Melissa. Hi, you guys. Say hi. Tap the share button. Comment with our share. So obviously we got some fruit because you can't live without fruit. So grapes, strawberries. I got some broccoli because I'm going to try some like new recipes. By the way, follow me for that. Um, I am coming up with a lot of really cool recipes that, uh, of things that I really love and you guys can, can steal them from me. Oh, and if you guys want a complete free seven day meal plan, uh, drop the word meal in the comments and I can definitely send that to you. Thank you for the stars, whoever that is. Oh my God. Hi, Jessica. Hello. Do you guys have Aldi's? Yes. So we went to Aldi's and I went to, um, Whole Foods. But typically, on average, we usually shop at Publix. That's really where we go about 90% of the time when I need things for Gabe's school lunches. Um, <clears throat> and let me just talk about this really quickly for a second. If you have kids, again, drop kids in the comments. Let's talk about kids and schools for a second, okay? I got this cheese dip. I want to show you really quickly, though, because this cheese dip is not that great for you, but it's so freaking good. This is the closest thing that you'll find to restaurant-style cheese dip, okay? It's called Gordo's, and again, it's not the healthiest, but you know what? It's really good, um, and you can put it on chicken. If you're keto, you can put it on chicken. You can put it on beef. You can do whatever you want to do. Wrap it up in a low-carb tortilla. I have so many freaking amazing ideas. Okay, so you guys have kids, right, and they're in school, <clears throat> and <clears throat> you're trying to be healthier. The amount of times that Gabriel, my six-year-old, has told me, the, the teacher gave me candy. Uh, we were over here doing candy. I got candy after PE. I got candy here. I got candy there. They offered me candy here. I don't know if you know this, but even if you're dye-free in your home, your kids are more than likely consuming dyes in school, like, all day long. Like, I don't know why these this is even a thing. It's truly, like, one of the biggest epidemics I think that we have is – the teachers and the and the people who are working at these schools have no knowledge of how these dyes are affecting our kids and they're feeding them candy every second of the freaking day so it's really just crazy to me um i have had to call up to game school numerous times and let them know like hey listen i told you like on paperwork you gotta tell them on paperwork my kid's allergic to the red dye don't feed him candy okay and it's just crazy to me that i even have to say that bro hand out some like healthy little crunchy bars i mean this is better than having a freaking jolly rancher i don't know so here we go callie opened the box but whatever we got these little crunchy granola bars okay and again they're not the best thing but they don't have any dyes okay so this is a dye free haul for anybody who's going to come for me i second this do not feed my children candy it's so freaking bad it's crazy hi emily hi jordan hi amber and so anyways y'all share it out type in the comments where share i got these whole wheat crackers which are actually really good freaking crackers not gonna lie um we got the the oats and honey uh version of those little things i got some of this really awesome looking dip um i am obsessed with everything but the bagel seasoning so this looks really freaking delish we always do non-fat greek yogurt and the kids love the strawberry kind this is way better do y'all have all right so drop a yes in the comments if your kids love those danimal little yogurts okay now those don't have dye in them but you know what they do have and if you have crazy ass kids and your kids are all over the place and they can't sit still and they can't focus it's more times than none either the dyes in their food and if you're like i'm dye free 
I don't know what's going on. It's the sugar. It is the sugar. So honestly, you guys, tap the share button, comment the word shared, or even if you don't comment, just share it out because somebody needs to hear it, okay? But the difference between this and those, the Danimals, like little things, because my kids would eat those every day, and they love those. Even when we go in the store, in the store they love those, right? The non-fat Greek yogurt, this the 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 um the strawberry one, doesn't have corn syrup. It doesn't have anything that's like that process. So the corn syrup and the sugar is what's creating these chaotic children, okay? So, anyways, I didn't really do too much research on this. I just saw them and all these all that. Okay, cool. So not uh no hydrogen hydronated oil, peanut allergy friendly, no corn syrup, no artificial ingredients, and real chocolate. Okay, look at these. Freaking fire. Y'all need to share this out, okay? For real. I said to, I, I said, okay, I'll give y'all a little bit of like a cheat meal-ish thing because we, we don't buy a lot of processed stuff. My kids literally go without. And somebody said, wow, your kids must have such a fun life. I'm not really concerned about my kids having a fun life. I'm concerned about their brain health. I'm concerned about not feeding them chemicals that's killing their brain cells. I'm sorry. I really could give a fuck less if they're, if they're having fun based on the foods that they're eating. No, we learn how to make it fun, okay? Um, don't hand out much candy, one piece. But it doesn't matter, like, when they're handing out the candy every single day. So, let me just give you an example, okay? In my six-year-old class, if he does something good, he gets a piece of candy. Okay, cool. If he does something, uh, if he's good for the day, he gets another piece of candy. Um, at the end of the day, maybe on Fridays, or maybe on the days they have P.E. The other day, he went to P.E., got another piece of candy. Thankfully, he now knows, like, he, he told me, he's like, Mommy, I got this from P.E. He handed it to me. I'm like, oh, my God, that just made me so freaking proud. Because I'm like, you don't understand the what the dyes and the sugar and the corn syrup is actually doing to their brain. You really have no idea. Yeah. But anyways, I told them they can have a little bit of a cheat little snacky snack, and so I got them these brownies. Um, I did check because I don't even care if we are on like a little cheat cheat. No, you ain't consuming no kind of uh, dyes. And so this has no fruit, no fructose corn syrup, which is really good. Made with real chocolate, really good, and no artificial colors. Okay, so this is not the worst thing that they could eat. Um, whole wheat when we make them sandwiches or anything like that, we have whole wheat bread. Hi Ashley, hi Samantha, hi guys, hi Sheila. Y'all say hi in the comments. Another brand I'm going to show you guys really quickly. This brand is freaking phenomenal. Hi, Amanda. Y'all say hi. Say hello in the comments. If you guys like when I do these, like, let me know in the comments. Um, see, I think it's Siete. Hold on, baby. I'm, hold on. I'm live. Go ask daddy. I'm not doing that right now. Go ask daddy. Um, Siete, they have so many different kinds of foods. And this is like a really good, wholesome brand. And I was telling Noah on the way back, because Noah went with me, he is our nine-year-old. And I was like, if you look at the back of the ingredients on something, and it's a mile-long list, it's an immediate no. Um, well, I mean, if you're trying, if you're consuming it on a daily basis, immediately no, right? So, like, look for things that have the least amount of ingredients in them. So, we got these Bentons. This is the same brand as these. Um, but these are like made out of almond flour, so I actually can eat them because I'm going back to kind of doing like low carb ish different stuff. Snickerdoodle cookies, um, everything but the bagel seasoning cookies, and then cheddar. So I'm really, or like they're crackers, not cookies, I'm sorry. Um, I got two different kinds of granola because I love to make like parfaits. All these has the best salami. If you don't like spicy salami, they have the best freaking salami ever. Hi, Vanessa. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Alyssa. Hi, Desiree. Hi, you guys. Y'all say hi. And again, if you have kids, comment the word kids, and you need to watch the replay because it's like literally, okay? So these are Simply Nature. Um, I got these for the kids. I am not going to consume these just because I, like again, I'm trying to do low carb. So y'all say hello. Um, we got some tortilla chips for them to eat with that cheese dip. All right, here we get into the good stuff. So this is all the stuff that I got from... Aldi's. Now, Aldi's doesn't have grocery bags. Obviously, that's why everything's not in a grocery I'm actually going to eat one of these salamis, okay? Kids, 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 kids love their salami. Yeah, she looks freaking amazing kids. So, um, if you have kids and you care about sharing valuable information to other moms to help their kids' health, please share it out. Type in the comments where share. It's so fire. So fire. It's all good. All right. All right. Anyways, on to the next. This other brand of Siete, these are chips. These are vinegar, salt and vinegar chips. So amazing. Okay. These are waffles. Callie Ray loves them. When she was one years old and still breastfeeding, I learned that 
she is, I don't know, we went dairy free for a little bit. And I think that's the best thing that you can do. Not over consume, like really just dairy. I don't know. But we got these, okay? Dye free. And they're freaking amazing. The kids love them. I'm going to show you guys my alternative. Because like I said a minute ago, oh. <laughs> and to be honest with you, these have very minimal, very minimal ingredients in them, okay? They're chicken nuggets. And that's like $9 for one of these. So it is expensive. And if you want to know how I make money from my phone, being able to afford groceries like this, drop a dollar sign in the comments. I've been doing what I do for the past four years, working from my phone. I make multiple six figures. I work my ass off for it. But I promote and sell exogenous ketones, and that literally makes me a full-time income. And ketones give me energy, focus, mental clarity, curb my appetite, and burn my fat. So what? you I can't get better than that. Drop a dollar sign in the comments below. I'll send you details, okay? But... These are the best tasting chicken nuggets that are pretty clean that I've ever had in my freaking life. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Carla. What's up? We got some of these popsicles made from real fruit. So I absolutely love when things are made from real ingredients. Okay, so as far as candy goes, because I know that you, I was just talking about schools and how they're offering candy. And it's constant. And you cannot control what your kid is getting in school unless you're sending their own lunches. And so I do send lunch with Gabe. However, it's like... Like I said, there's always like kids eating candy around him. It doesn't even matter. There's always a kid eating some kind of color dye filled candy around him. And so I'm like, I don't want you to be tempted. And it sounds really crazy, but I bought him some dye free candies. Um, these are the best gummies out there. So it's by Yum Earth. Go research this brand, Yum Earth. So I got lollipops and gummies, and I put one of each in his um, in his bag every single day. These are the best tasting, healthy um, M and M's I've ever had in my life. By Unreal, that's the brand. Unreal, it's literally Unreal. Okay, Lily's is keto chocolate. So I got some chocolate covered almonds for myself. All right, moving on. Uh, I got some high key cookies. I don't know if y'all know that this is keto cookies and they're so freaking fire. So if you've never had them, you should definitely try them. Uh, four years ago when I was full blown keto, I literally was obsessed with those. Okay. Um, and then another thing, this keto too. We don't have that here. You don't have all these? What about Lidl's? Lidl's? Lidl's. Hi, Selena. Hi, Diana. Hi, you guys. Y'all say hi. Tap that share button. Comment the word shared for my weekly giveaway. I literally will take your name and put it to my giveaway. And then you just go to the link in the bio and join where it says updates. And that's how you know if you win or not. And it's pretty cool. You should win. You could win some free cool stuff. So anyways, this is the best cereal that you can consume while you're being keto and you're trying to stay on track because we all know that some days you just need something. You need the crunch. You need the cereal taste and feel. And those are really freaking good. Nope. Can you get it at Walmart? Actually, I'm not sure, but I know for a fact you can get everything online. So Amazon or Thrive Market is really good. You can use those. Um, I got Callie some of this organic um, oatmeal because she is obsessed with oatmeal. I got um, these little... They have no high fructose corn syrup, non-GMO, which is really good, and no artificial flavors or colors. And so I got them, gave these Z-Bars for lunch. Really excited. I got the kids these Nature's Path. Um, again, this is a really good brand, the Nature's Path. Um, how much did you spend? I spent about 200 bucks on all of this stuff. And I don't know if that's good or bad. You can say good or bad in the comments. Do you think that's good or do you think it's bad? I still have another bag to go, okay? Also, uh, but I said these pop tarts are really good, so it's by Na Nature's Path Organic, and they taste really good, and they resemble the real deal, so it's really good. The Z-Bars, have you tried Cliff Bars? I have not personally myself, okay? Here's another, um, uh, these cookies, okay? The CSA brand, so freaking fire. Hello, you guys. Good, good. Okay, perfect. All right, y'all see a lot? I'll show you the, like, pretty much just, like, all right here. All right, so we have one whole, one of the bag. I... I got some grape juice. I've heard a lot of great things about giving um, straight, pure grape juice to boost immunity. Another really valuable tip. Another reason of why you need to tap that share button and comment the word share. That's good. That would be doubled or more here. Um, I got some diced mangoes. I got some good culture cottage cheese. So I'm gonna try to do something with it again because I swear to God, I'm gonna make myself love this cottage cheese. I don't know what it is. And then I was like, okay, you know what? Let's try out these little muffins. They're vegan um, and it's made by Abe's School Friends. So there's no milk, no nuts, no eggs, and no soy, which is really good. And then also there is no, um, 
there's no food dyes, okay? So these are not dyed at all, and they look pretty good. We haven't tried them yet, but I'm gonna really um, be excited if they're good, okay? Because if the kids love them is what I'm trying to say. So anyways, we got all this for about 200 bucks, and I'm telling you, if you're struggling right now, and you're like, I would eat healthy, I would go die free, I would do all this stuff, but we don't have money, just from my personal experience, you guys, when, we, when you stop buying all the really bad stuff, you actually can just take that money and buy the healthy stuff. It might be a little bit more expensive. You've got to sit down and kind of budget for yourself, but it's so freaking worth it. If you have crazy kids, and I mean crazy kids as in like your kids are off the freaking walls all the time, it's the sugars and it's the dyes. You've got to get rid of it. And there's so many parents in my comment section all the time saying like, well, my kid has sensory issues. My kid has autism. My kid has this. And I understand. I totally get it. But what do you think is fueling those symptoms of the sensory issues and the outbursts and the crying and the seizures? Like, I don't know if you guys know this, but keto was originally invented because it helped stop seizures from little kids who had, had epilepsy. So do your research and understand that, yes, eventually, at first it's going to be a little bit of a fight, but it is so much better for their health in the long run. So you guys share this out to somebody who needs to hear it and then type in the comments the word shared. One, show you guys my little grocery haul. Now I'm gonna get off and eat some of this food. <laughs> but thank you so much for hopping on, appreciate you. By the way, my main TikTok is banned at almost 900,000 followers. Go to the link in the bio and follow me on my new one. It is what it is. And I'll see you guys over there.